Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kafui if you're new and today I'm bringing you along to my affordable corrective shower routine. I love this routine for when my body needs a reset or some extra care where every part of my body is attended to and hella loved on from head to toe. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is waxing because I have allowed these hairs to grow way too long. <laughs> The kit comes with these pre and after wax sprays. I first use the pre-wax spray to clean and dehydrate the areas that I'm going to be waxing today, which will be my underarms and my cleavage because believe it or not, I grow hair there, okay? I love waxing because it promotes smooth skin, it exfoliates, it gives me fewer ingrown hairs and less darkness under the arm. It's also way faster than shaving and in one painful pull, all my hair is gone. Also, don't worry, all the products will be linked down in the description box. After waxing, I like to use my post wax spray, which is meant to soothe and rehydrate the area. And there you have it. My armpit is hairless and I feel super fresh and happy. Right before I get into the shower, I like to protect my hair with my bonnet and my shower caps. I double this up because I don't want any water getting to my hair. Once I'm in the shower, I like to wash my face. I use the La Roche Posay Purifying Cleanser. It just gives me a really good clean without stripping my skin. My skin feels a really, really clean after this. For my first wash, I like to use the Dial Antibacterial Soap in this spring water scent. It's just a super clean and fresh scent that I love because if I'm taking a shower, I want to feel clean and fresh. I love using this soap for my first wash because it just gets rid of any gunk, any debris, any oil that may be lingering around my skin from the air pollution, lotions that I've used, anything of that sort. It just gets rid of everything and gives me a clean slate. It also lathers up really, really nicely. For my second shower, because I like to double cleanse, I go in with the Naturium Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. It gently exfoliates my skin to resurface softer, smoother skin. And because this is a corrective shower routine, I need softer and smoother skin because I'm not gonna lie to you, I was feeling like a dragon. <clears throat> Going in with this body wash just really helps my skin, smoothens everything out. I really love the lather on this. It's really thick, it's creamy, it's rich. After I I rinse off i use the dove sensitive skin bar soap to wash my girl downstairs it gives me no issues next i like to go ahead and actually exfoliate my body with an actual exfoliant today i'm using the tree hut vitamin c scrub if you know anything about vitamin c it's really good for brightening the skin and promoting an even skin tone all around Once I've exfoliated, I like to go ahead and shave. Mainly, I just shave my legs. I don't really shave anywhere else because we just wax my underarms. Using the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Shave Oil with the Venus Razor. I just love how it shaves. It provides a really good glide. Next, girl, I cannot forget about my crocodile feet because yes, I struggle with calluses at the bottom of my feet, girl. I don't know what it is. I try everything and I still just always get them. I like to use this callus remover gel and pair that up with my pyramid stone. And I just use that to scrub it up dead because there's no reason why my feet should be grabbing the comforter in the morning before I even do. Thank you. 
Now that we're out of the shower, it's time for my body care routine. These are my essential products that I love to use to take care of my body, especially when I'm focusing more on a corrective routine. First in the lineup is my Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotions with Deep Nourishing Serum, which is just perfect for just rehydrating my skin and replenishing my skin with all the hydration that it needs. And to lock in the moisture, I like to use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist. That's a bit of a mouthful, but it needs all the praise because it's that grub. I was asleep on this until I wasn't. It's not heavy or anything, so you're not going to feel super oily when using it. But baby, it is going to moisturize and give your body the glow. Not only that, but it's going to seal in all of the moisture from the shower and the lotion that we just applied. Now it's time to focus on my skin. Around this time, my skin was just feeling super dry, it was flaky. I was also breaking out from a new product that I introduced into my skincare routine. So I just needed a detox. My skin needed to release all of the gunk in the pores. And to do that, I'm using the carbonated bubble clay mask. This is a little different for me because I've never tried a carbonated clay mask before. As soon as you apply it, it just kind of starts to bubble up on your face. If you ever tried the Aztec clay mask then you know how aggressive it is this one is not like that it's a very gentle clay mask these are the products in my skincare lineup. I feel like I've given a more detailed skincare routine in my previous shower routines. So I'm not going to be going too much in depth about everything that I'm using here or showing every step that I'm doing. I first hydrate my skin, then I use my Cosrx Snail Mucin to hydrate my face while my skin is still wet. And then lately I've been using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, especially because like I just said, my skin has been a super super dry and then lastly i just seal everything with my tune makers a vitamin c moisturizer for the sake of pampering myself because I've been going through it, I use these eye patches from Pixie. I leave them on for a couple minutes and once I remove them, I rub whatever's left into my skin and go in with my e.l.f. eye cream because the other eyes need care too. And so that's it for my corrective shower routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned a thing or two. I wanted to make it affordable because you really don't need to spend so much money to take care of your skin and your body. At least I know I don't. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.